Alicia, good job. Okay, Matt. Touch the base. Touch the base. Throw it high. Throw touch the base, high. Matt. <laughs> Actually, we were all worried. We thought we were going to have to pull him out. I was lying down the sled on my knees and my weight pushed my hand into the ground. It hurt. We thought he wasn't going to be able to play. He didn't feel heavy at all. And then he got out here and he was able to hold the bat and able to use his glove. That's all he needed. I can hit and catch. It doesn't get in the way of anyone. Check it out. I don't know. I, I just think I'm good. Get it, Dom. I hope he learns teamwork, number one. Good cover, Lex. That he's not the only one out there playing. Thanks, Lex. And number two, I hope he learns that he has to have some fun while he's doing it as well. OK, love shortstop. You got to get up, buddy. But when they're not listening, let's play. Come on, let's play. Let's play ball. You obviously want to teach them a little bit better. Hit it, hit it. Of where, what they're doing and where they need to be. Get them. It's a Reds. Tag him, tag him. Ah, oh, I got him tag. Little Tucson Mountain League team that comes out here. Let's go, Reds. Come on, Reds. Ready position. Let's go. Hold it up. Hit it. Go, 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 Melissa. First base, Dale, first. Age group runs uh, in between the five-year-olds and the six-year-olds. Go, baby, go! It's fun for my kids, it's fun for us. It's your job, buddy. The runner's giving you the ball now. I know. Throw it in, silly. <laughs> and I like bringing them out here. I love playing with the kids. Now watch the ball. Look at the ball and hit it when I take swing, okay? And for me, it's it's emotional. I really get into the game. Touch that base, man, you had a boy. Tag him, Elia, tag him, tag him! Here we go. Swing, hit it. Cover, 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 cover! Yeah, no! Oh, Dale! No! Tackle him. When I tell you to hit it, you hit it, okay? Don't, don't, don't swing till I tell you. Tell me, hope. Okay, go. Go left. Go left. They hear their names. Yes, I do. Sir. Perfect. They, you know, they hear the out of boys, the out of girls, whatever it might be. Go, go, go. Get a good hit out of it. Go, 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 go. Good job, Dominic. That, that motivates him. It gets him going. I hit some pretty good hits at when my team cheers for me. I love playing with Dom. I really do. I love that Dom likes to play. Good job, Dominic. Oh. <laughs> get up, buddy. Go, go, go. Get up. Dominic played good. He did a good job. Good game, good, good game, good. Got a boy. I have a, a Honda CR250. KX65. It's a Honda 450. And this is Pima Motorsports Park. Today we're going to have a motocross race for motorcycles and ATVs. We'll have uh, kids of all ages, from five years old up to 50 years old. Well, 20-some years in the Marine Corps and everything from submarines to free fall, uh, I kind of like the adrenaline. I like it very much because it's just so fun and passionate for me. Now, as an operator of the park, it's just all about the kids. You know, watching these kids have fun is really what makes all the effort and work that we put out, put in out here, well worthwhile. Come boy, buddy, go get him! This is kind of cool. This is a, this is my my little buddy Jordan Moore. His mom took a picture and. Uh, this kind of says it all. This is a, a picture that uh, of me watching him, kind of doing a little coaching. And on the back, it says to Biff, my friend from Jordan, your friend, with a smiley face. So that's awesome. Just keep a good attitude about it, and you know what? It isn't about winning or losing, it's just to have fun.
This process is called pulling. It's really easy to get lost in it. As you can see, I love to make a mess. When people start working with clay, they just sort of have this intimate connection, you know? The clay comes in 25-pound bags. Where is that clay going to take me? You know, where am I going to be going? You don't really think about anything. For, for one moment, it's almost like meditation, you know? But all, you, all you're focusing on is the clay. That's the only thing you're focusing on is the clay. Sometimes you can come in here and you might have had a rough week and then you um, come in here and everything seems to be so therapeutic because if you're uptight and hyper when you're doing pottery, it's things that don't work. This is a, uh, the Lady of Guadalupe in here that I do for my mother. Their interests are all different and they're all doing different things and so what I want to do is help them find their way on their path. I used to do a lot of snow skiing and the thing I liked about snow skiing is when you went down the hill all you could think about was the next thing that was you were doing and this is kind of the same way it's very much you have to focus on what you're doing and it kind of gives your mind a rest and you really have to feel the clay and what it wants to do and you know, kind of where it wants to go, not where I want it to go. I make extremely large bowls. Take a bowl as a mold, flip it over, flatten at the bottom, pull it around. The clay talks to you, it tells you what it wants to be. You're never in charge. At this point, I'll kind of give it a bit of shape. Okay, now, basically, I've let the clay do what it wants to do. I've given it a little shape. Not a heck of a lot. This will dry for a week. And then I'll clean the edges up and fire it. After that, I'll glaze it, and it's finished. And that's how easy I make a big bowl. They're more coffee table type bowls than they are anything else. Could you put potato salad in there? Yeah, you could. You know, would you? Probably not. <laughs> I came in here with an idea, but my idea is kind of evolve and change. Well, that's why I like being in here because I'm around all these creative people. I didn't have a concept originally of putting a bird on here, but now I like the bird that I put on there. And see, the bird changes everything. I was going to do something a little bit more gothic, but I think I'll probably end up doing something more traditional. Oh, I make everything for myself, basically. Um, to start with, unless I've got something in mind, you know, a special gift for a special occasion for somebody. But otherwise, everything I make is just what I want. And hopefully, they'll like it. Yeah. I just hold it up against the, the pot. So you have to be very, very, very delicate and, and but strong at the same time. I, I always tell my students that I think Clay is the best teacher. Wedges for shaping. This is for shaping the inside. And uh, putting the finishing touches on is almost, I think it's almost finished. Now I'm going to trim the sides with this trimming tool to get some of the weight off. I know the process of centering the clay is called centering for a number of reasons because I think it helps center the person too. <laughs> that may sound odd. There's something very restful, perhaps hypnotic about the spinning wheel. <laughs> There's definitely a spiritual component and it's, it's uh, fellowship and it's friendship and it's um, so many things. Get off the couch, Tucson.